How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. We are no yeah. longer in sunny Florida. We have returned back to the natural state and of course it's cloudy, <laughs> it's raining. We're in between thunderstorms right now so we may not have a whole lot of time to fish but we're going to try to come out here and catch some monsters for y'all. So here at this dam we're not actually going to be fishing right here. We're actually going to hike back further downstream to a spot but we are starting right here because we have to get some bait and luckily for us there are literally <laughs> 18,000 million bazillion shad down so there. So many. I was planning on throwing a throw net, but there's honestly, I shouldn't throw a throw net because I literally will fill it up with way too many. So luckily for us, we brought a new dip net that we just got the other day. <laughs> so we got a dip net and uh, Jay said that she's gonna go down there and dip net us some fresh bait. So we're gonna hike down there, get our bait situation taken care of, and we're gonna make the hike to the fishing spot and hopefully start catching some monsters. So guys, y'all are excited to join along with us on this first video back in Arkansas. Do us a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel to wish us good luck, and we will see you down at the bottom. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these shad, they're everywhere. Woo! It should be really easy to catch. Yeah, okay, just, uh, I guess just swing and catch a few. I got your bucket. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I would say that's plenty of bait. I think we're good. Yep. <laughs> that I think was way too easy. <laughs> is that all shad? Let me look in there. Yeah, let's make sure. Yeah, it looks like it's all shad. We actually saw a few crappie swim up on this thing too. We got all sizes. We got big, got medium, got small. That'll work. Let's get some bucket water. Nice. That's good. Uh -oh. That's good. Wait, wait, all right. Now we can go catch some fish. Yeah, let's go get some monsters. <laughs> All right, so we got the bait. Now we've hiked back here to our spot. We're back here at this little spillway and it is rolling. The water is up a little bit, but that's normally a good thing for this spot. Um, it can get really low and the fish don't like to be here. So really the only time you can fish it is when the water is up like this, but we're excited. So we got the shad, of course. We're gonna be throwing those out. We're gonna throw them out whole, use them as cut bait. But we also brought our crappie box too, which is a bunch of assorted soft plastics and we brought some crappie rods. Um, don't know if we're gonna catch crappie, but we're gonna throw a little jigs around and see maybe we catch some crappie, some white bass, some something, some whatever <laughs> is lurking here. But it looks really fishy. Just saw a fish. Ooh, Just saw exciting. a fish. Oh, looks Ooh. really fishy now that we've seen <laughs> one. So yeah, hopefully we'll catch them before we get run off by a thunderstorm. And hopefully it actually won't even thunderstorm at all because yeah. I want to fish. I don't want to go home. So yeah. let's get rigged up. Let's get our blinds in the water and let's see if we can catch. All right, let's get in here to our bucket, get one of our fresh shad. So these are threadfin shad. I'm not sure if we got any gizzards in there too, but this one in particular is a threadfin. And I'm gonna start off with a little bit of cut bait action. I'm not gonna cut the thing right in half. I'm still gonna give a meaty chunk, but I'm just gonna cut the tail off. Just so we can get a little of a bit of scent dispersal. Let these fish know that we're here and we're willing to feed them today. Make their life easy. And then I'm just gonna stick one hook right there in the back, just like that, and that is the rig. I'm just using like a little drop shot type rig. There's a lot of sticks and branches down here, so I don't want the bait to like really drift around a whole lot. So we're gonna try this, and then Jay has a Carolina rig rigged up with a heavy weight, so her shouldn't move around either. We'll see which one works best. But we're just gonna pitch it out here right in front of us. It's actually pretty deep out there right now because the water's up. And then I'm just gonna lay the rod down right here. I got a fish! Fish on! Fish on! Oh, he came off! Whoo! Well, we almost lost the rod. Over there watching Jay's rod, the rain started picking up and she ran the camera and put it up underneath the tree. And while she was doing that, my rod about got took off out there. I had it on free spool, but he still almost took it. I wonder what it was. It was a pretty good one. I had him on there for a second, but hopefully he'll come back for it. Here we go. Here you feel something? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what it is down there. We've had a few bites, a few misses. We need this fish, Jay. Got him? Got him? Oh my gosh, it's huge. 
Oh my gosh, Jay, that thing is huge. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh Whoa. my gosh, he's huge. He's huge. Hold on to him, Jay. Whoa. That's a huge one. Oh my gosh, that might be the biggest one I've ever caught here. Holy cow, get out of there. Get out of the grass. I got the net. I got the net. Oh my gosh. I got the net. I got the net. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's fighting good. Come here. He is fighting so good. Wow. These fish are so. Oh, he's in the net. He's out of the net. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's in the net now. That was nuts. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. That was insane. Okay, look at this guys. We got our fish. We got our guy. Oh, he's... Oh. Let's come over to this flat ground over here. Check out this monster. Oh my goodness. That was such a fun fight. He looked way bigger than this out there though. It looked like my PB. I don't think this is my PB, but it is a dang good one. Yeah, I mean, he looked massive. It looked like a freaking Arapaima jumping up. <laughs> I mean, did. the setting, I mean, this almost looks like the Amazon out here. Yeah. And this is truly a prehistoric fish. Definitely the one we came out here to catch today. And I'm so happy to see that there are some out here in the area and that they're willing to bite. Yes. I mean, look at the head on that thing. Because I am not kidding. These fish are so much fun to catch. I know. They fight so hard. They take cut shad really good. <laughs> and there's just nothing like them. They are they so... They jump all crazy. It's just awesome. I know. They're... But we have to use these grippers because they have teeth. In. Oh, yeah. They have needle sharp yeah. teeth. Let me get a zoom in there. Maybe you can flex his mouth out a little bit. I don't want to stick my finger in there. I've been bit way too many times by these guys. And they are super hard to hold on to. I know. Yeah. There's, there's Luckily, a... he's being pretty calm right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, you may handle that one. But anyways, you want to get a quick weight on him real quick and see how big he is? Sure. Yeah. All right. What's the scale saying? Six pounds, 15 ounces. Not bad at all. Almost I think I remember your biggest pounds. one was like, what, like nine pounds? I don't remember. I, I really was, don't. I think it was like nine pounds. <sighs> and it came from this spot. So we've seen some big ones jumping. Let's get him off the hook and let's get him back in the water. Can we get a graceful release? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so graceful. We got in the splash zone with that one. Oh, yeah, you got stuff all over the lens. <laughs> Good job, Jake. Let's catch another one. All right, guys, I just released my fish. Literally just released it. Go oh, check that. oh, my gosh. Heads up. Holy cow. Oh. Holy cow. Oh. That looks like a 10 pounder. <laughs> you almost got smoked with the hook. I'm yeah. so sorry about that. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. That was a big one. Hopefully we saw that jump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was insane. That was a big old fish. I've missed a couple of fish with this hook. I'm using a different little style of circle hook than I normally use. And I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. I have some more that are like more traditional, like more rounded. I think I'm gonna swap up to that because I've missed three fish so far with this thing. You know, the other one's a little bit heavier gauge. So I'm gonna make that swap and I'm gonna get back out there. Dang, that fish was massive. He was. Dang it. Oh. Dang it, Cole. You feel something? Oh yeah. Oh baby. There we go. Oh, Second fish, is that another bowfin? running right to me. Is it a bowfin? What is it? Oh, what nice one. Heck? Nice one, nice one. I, don't th I think he's just now realizing he's hooked. I think so too. <laughs> can bring him here to this net. Oh, he's fighting hard. Oh. Come on, oh. come on, come You got him, Jay. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, it almost hit me in the it face. Hit me in the face. Oh my gosh. It, the hook like grazed my eye. I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh. Oh, but we got the fish. Wow, and we got our eyes, so that's good. That's awesome. <laughs> Another nice boat then, Jay. Heck yeah. It kind of slowed oh. down. The rain actually stopped and um, the fish kind of quit biting, but yeah. hey. We're on the board with our second fish. Let's get him on the grippers. All right, well, here is my second bow fin of the day. He fought different than the first one. The first one just went wild. This one just came straight to me at first. I don't think he realized he was hooked. And, but then when he did realize, then he started like thrashing and everything. It was awesome. But I don't I, know what's going on with the tail. Look at I that. I know. There's a whole bunch of them in here. I think they just got done spawning. Oh, and uh, they make beds like largemouth do. So I guess maybe from fanning or maybe just another one took a chomp out. It looks like one took a bite out of his yeah, tail. Yeah, it kind of does. But look how crazy it is. It's all bloody. And just, I mean, these fish are freaks in general, but <laughs> hey, that is awesome. Got two fish. We're like two for seven or two for yeah. eight at this point. We've had a lot of bites. But uh, hopefully we'll start landing more than we're missing. Yeah. But let's get this guy back in the water. He's not bigger than the first one, I don't think, so we won't weigh him. We'll just yeah. get him back in there and hopefully catch one even bigger. Good yeah. job. Let's be a little bit more graceful this time, buddy. All right. Nice I'll see and ya. easy. Don't tell your friends. Oh, looky there. Oh, look at there. That was good. That was awesome, Jay. Good job. <laughs> oh, I'm so slimy. Oh, I should not have done that. <laughs> I am so slimy. Gross. <laughs> Oh, 
I think we got one, guys. Got him. Got him. Stay on there. Stay on there. Yeah. Yes, finally. Finally. Oh, I got one. It's both in. Oh, ho, ho. I got him. I got him. I'm going to get the net. He's trying to go down to the pipe. I got him here. Just trying to keep pressure on him. Don't want him to come off. He's about to these Woo! Oh, he's yes. got some blue on him. Does he? Oh, oh heck yeah, that's what we were hoping for. That's Woo! what's up. Well, that took long enough, guys. We've been out here for about an hour and I've missed about eight or nine, maybe even 10 of these guys. But finally, we got this one up here on the bank. I'm not sure what the issue is with the hookup ratio today. Like, normally, we don't miss them this bad. Like, I know. And uh, normally, we use circle hooks, but we also um, like to use the J hooks with like straight braid. Maybe that's what we should be doing today so we can actually like, jack into them really hard. But either way, we're getting bit and we're getting a few fish on the bank, and that's all that matters. Maybe we can turn our bad luck around and start landing more fish than we're missing. But um, let me get this guy back in the water. He's got some pretty cool colorations. Yeah, look at the blue. He's got the blue on his fins right there. No blue in his mouth. Sometimes their mouths would be solid blue and it'd be really cool, but maybe you can see those teeth in there. He is just awesome. One last look at our little bow fin. Oh, you got a fish on that one, Jay. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I'm going to steal fish. it. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> Go get it. I'm going to steal your pole. <laughs> You're going to miss him. I might. Don't miss him. Don't miss him. Oh, baby. You got him. You got I'm him. Oh. You got us in the bushes. Dang it. <laughs> we were just talking about how we were going to start landing more of these fish, and I blew it. Dang, he Dang. had it too long. He just ran us right in the bush and I think he was already off and went right up the hook. Dang. Dang. Oh, well, we'll these little the circle hooks one. are not working out too well for us today. Nope. We're gonna have to go back to the store and get some better hooks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the bite has picked up, guys. Got him. That's a big one. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Stay under there. Stay under there. Stay under there. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, Jay, it's a big one. I gotta get the please get it, please get it, please get it. He's stripping drag. Oh, that's the biggest one, Jay. The thing is big. I think he's the biggest one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got him. Okay. Yeah! Whoa! Woo, we're turning it around now, he's baby. Heavy. Let's go. You got one on that pole, too, Jay. There's one on that pole. There's one on your pole. Get the pole, get the pole, get the pole. You got him? Got him? Yep. We just doubled up. Keep him out of the bush. Yes. Yes. Oh. Doubled up on monsters. I don't even know where my fish is at right now. Here we go. We gotta get him. Oh gosh. He's still on there? Yes. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh gosh. He's oh, my. So beautiful. He's so beautiful, Jay. Don't lose him. I'm falling. Oh my gosh. That fish is gorgeous. Look cool. out. Get that fish. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> we just doubled up Woo! on the biggest fish of the day and the, the most beautiful. Yes. Oh my gosh. This has got a spot on his tail too. Woo! Oh my gosh. That one's awesome. Now that is one of the most beautiful bowfin I think that I have ever seen. Look at those gorgeous like aqua teal colored fins. And it goes all the way down to his tail fin. Look at that eye spot. That's so cool. So oh cool. And we were hoping to catch some like this today with these, with these spawning colors. Is his mouth blue? His mouth is not blue. It is a little bit. I guess so. Just yeah. a little bit. But those fins, oh my goodness, Jay. What I a know. gorgeous fish. This is definitely the prettiest one I've ever caught. I know, like, and he has that, I mean, he's got the bright orange ring around that, yeah. uh, around that, that uh, tail spot. That's so awesome. So cool. And meanwhile, we've got old Big Head sitting right here. We, he's still hooked. We're gonna have to get him unhooked and get him weighed to see how big he is. I think he's probably gonna be eight and a half pounds or so. That's amazing. <laughs> that was wild what three minutes yeah it was insane <laughs> it was definitely insane but that's an awesome fish here we're gonna grab a couple pictures of you with this fish we're gonna get some back in the water we're gonna weigh the big one and then we're gonna get back out this and we catch another one yeah i am so stoked that i caught this beautiful fish we're gonna let him go and see if we can catch more and also get a weight on cool's fish because he's got a big one up there okay right. we'll see you being graceful i know that is sick Woo! beautiful <laughs> There's that beast I just caught. We're starting to finally hook up with more of these fish that are biting, which is exciting. I think this is going to be the biggest of the day so far. Oh, yeah. Although the one that Jay just caught and released was just so beautiful. I think that's definitely the fish of the day. But um, yeah, let's get a quick weight on him. We gave him a good drink. Just a second ago, but oh, 
Did you see that? Did he hit you? Oh my gosh. Oh dear. He got me. Ouch. He got me. <laughs> oh, he both oh got me God. again. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's see. <laughs> it's so funny. 715 again. Serious? What's up with that? Wait, mine was 615. Oh, yours was 615? Wait, was it? Is your 615 or 715? Yours is 615. Mine was 615. Okay, I'm about yeah. to say. I'm about to say, there's no way. There we go. 715. Okay. Weighed it twice. Exactly one pound bigger. Exactly one pound heavier. What a cool fish. I think we're going to let him go on this side of the spillway. It's nice, rich, running, oxygenated water. And I have a feeling this guy was going to tell his buddies that we're after him. So we're going <laughs> to let him go on this side. <laughs> oh. oh my God. I saved his life. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna send him back. Free Thanks. Willy. Wow. Oh. He about died. Oh yeah. He about got got by some concrete. <laughs> I saved him. I got one. I think I got one, guys. Yep. Oh, oh, he jumped. He's coming to me. Whoa! Look at that oh thing. God. Look at that thing. Where's our net? <laughs> ah! He's in the bush. Golly. Woo! Get him, Jay. Ah! Come here. Yeah. Yes. Holy cow. Teamwork. Woo, we're doing a little better. Once you get them hooked, it seems like they don't come off too bad if you get them hooked good enough. There we there go. There you go. Oh, I should have, I should have, uh, well, it'd be all right. I should have lip gripped him while I had the hook in there. <laughs> it's like almost impossible to get the mouse back on, but we'll just hold him. We'll get a death grip. There you go. That's another nice one. Is that my fourth one, third one? Third, third I think. Third or fourth, I think it's the third one. Another solid fish, probably seven pounds. Nice, not as big as the last one, I don't think, but still a good one. He's not really blue, but he's cool and I love him. It's a great fight. <laughs> I love how like how close up it is too. It's like you know our baits are ten feet out in front of us, and then they just go nuts. Yeah. Okay, let's give him a nice little toss back in. See you later, man. See ya. Oh. Woo. Where are you going? Where are you going? He wants to stay. He looks like an anaconda. He does. Oh gosh. What if he comes and we get a big old gulp here? Hey, you gotta go. You got to go. You in the moss. There you there go. There he goes. Heck yeah. Oh, I think we're tied up now. Yummy. <laughs> Had to get you back from when you got me earlier. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. I like that spot over there a lot better. That spot right there did me dirty. That spot's doing me a lot better. <laughs> Let's catch some more. Oh, oh, he about pulled the water. Oh, got him. You got him. Come keep on. pressure on him. Keep pressure on him. Come on. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? He's way out there. Just keep pressure on him. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, Get him, Jay. Come here, come here. He's going this way. Come this way with him. He is fighting like crazy. Woo! Does he have colors? Oh. Woo! Oh my gosh, he's got an attitude, that's for sure. Woo! Woo yes! It has been a while. He about pulled the rod out in the water. He did. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. What a fight. Yes. You got like the full fight because he was way out there. Yeah, that was awesome. Jay got a fish and I got a fish. Not to double trouble him again. Yeah! Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. We doubled up again, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Woo! When we catch one, we catch two. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Let's show, let's show you these fish, guys. We got two fish. They look like twins. Yes. Big old bowfins for days. How's about that for our <laughs> second daily double of the day? I can't tell which one's bigger. This one might be a little bit larger. Yeah, I think yours is just a little bit bigger. But that was awesome. It's like when we catch one, we catch two. And if we had like four rods, we'd probably get, we'd probably get four Ooh, bites at the same time. There's so many fish out here. It's crazy. Like we have these two and I still see like so many just surfacing. I know, it's just crazy. But anyways, 
How much fun is this? It's a blast. It's, it's just so much fun. We fight so <laughs> We're hard. We're having a real good time out here. And I know that for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you see us make this video like every year and we like literally look forward to this time of year mm -hmm. every year so we come out here and catch these fish. It's just a really special opportunity to catch these guys. But um, so we're gonna toss fun. these boys back into the creek and uh, maybe give it a little bit longer so we catch a couple more. Ah! <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to drop him on the ground. <laughs> Nice. I think they prefer that. Yeah. We're gonna try to catch one more of these jokers and put the bait back in the magic spot next to these bushes. Seems like it's about three feet deep right there on that edge, but then it definitely drops off to like six feet right here. And they're just swimming up and down that edge and um, they can't resist these shad heads. We'll see how long that takes. I bet it takes less than five minutes to get bit the way they're biting. Oh my gosh, your line is so slack. Is he there? Oh, he's there and he's oh. big. He's big. Oh my, oh my gosh, look at the boil. Oh look at the boil. Look at that boil down there. Oh my gosh, JJ. That's a monster. That's a good one. Don't let him go down the pipe. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's not as big as I thought he was. No, but he was wild. That was awesome. Woo. These fish are insane. That is another beauty, Jay. Another nice like five or six pounder. I'm not sure how many we've caught now. We start off kind of slow. We were getting the bites, but we weren't linking up with them. I think this is the fastest action we've ever had out here. And it's very possible. <laughs> and if we stayed out here all afternoon, there's no telling how many oh, we know. could catch. But unfortunately, our time is running out here. We might sneak in a couple more. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to sway you to let me stay out here a little longer. But um, I know there's some things we got to get back home to do. So let's get this fish back in the water and let's maybe catch another one i guess we can catch another one we should catch another one we can try we might catch one that's solid blue you never know give it a little bit longer yeah just give it like give it like 10 minutes okay 10 minutes okay <laughs> got a fish guys got a fish just let jay's fish go oh he's way in the oh my gosh oh my gosh what a specimen what a don't break it that's a monster you have to get the net. That's a monster. I don't know if it's, I, I, this might be the biggest. This might be the biggest. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest. Get over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, that's what happens when you fish a little bit longer, Jay. Yeah. Look at that beast, guys. <laughs> I think that might be the biggest one of the day. He needs to touch eight pounds to be the biggest. Oh my gosh. I think, I think it's going to be eight pounds. We walked over here to look at the spillway because we heard some, some noise and I looked back and my line was going. I was like, oh my gosh, it's got a fish. So he munched it a little bit longer. That's probably why we got him. Look at that mouth. Got a little bit of blue. Got some needle sharp teeth. Whew. What a fish. I think it's going to be eight. What do you think? I think so. Let's mind <laughs> Go. Oh yeah. Holy smokes. Eight pounds, nine ounces. Wow. Not a bad bowfin at all. Beautiful fish, fought good, jumped good, looks like, I mean, a monster, monster. When he first came up, whoa, and he is still feisty, so we're gonna get him back in the water while he's hot. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna call it a day. That was definitely worth staying out here another 10 minutes, Jay. It was, <laughs> that's a good fish to end on. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. That was probably our least graceful retrieve or release. That was awesome. Okay guys, we just caught that last boat in, we packed our stuff up, we're walking the trail back to the car, and we have our eyes on a black racer Ooh. hiding here in the shadows. They think it's a black racer. There he is. He looks to me like probably a three foot snake. Sneaky. He's just chilling, but we're gonna try to catch him. We gotta be so fast. He definitely sees us. Oh yeah. He's gonna spring, so I'm gonna spring. Ready? Set. Go. <clears throat> Got him. Got him. And he's not gonna bite me either. Cause I got his head. Whoa! That was like the easiest black racer catch of my life. I know. Normally they're so hard to catch. I look at his tail. So he's starting to wiggle his tail around. Oh, he was just coiled up. He was hoping we would just walk right past him. But I got those eagle eyes when it comes to these snakes. 
I wanted to catch a lot of snakes this year. And this is the time of year to catch them. They're out and about. This one here was just sitting there basking. This guy was probably just all cooled up sitting there waiting for like a frog or something to come by and he was gonna go out and chase it down. These, these snakes are so fast. Look at a flicker in his tongue. He's actually being quite chill. Ooh, oh, there he is. As soon Hi. as I say that, he said, hello, I will bite you. These guys are about as naughty as the water snakes that we like to catch. I would say they're even naughtier. <laughs> and they always bite, but so cool. What a beautiful snake. Stinky too, I smell it. A little stinky, but I don't actually think he got it on I me. Mean, I think he just pooped on himself, which is nice. Because most of the time, you know, they just poop all over us. But that is really cool. This is our first racer catch of the year. This isn't the biggest that they get, but still a really quality sized snake. And an awesome find, an awesome way to cap off the day's video. Oh yeah. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna set him down here in the trail, let him ease back on into the grass, get back to doing his things. Hoping not to stress him out too much. We just wanted to catch him so we could show you guys this guy up close. Did y'all get a good look at him? One last look at him. Look at that tongue. <laughs> and he's just squirming right through my hand. So pretty. He's probably thinking about biting me. Okay, we don't need any bites today. We're just gonna send you back. Let's see how fast he is, you ready? Sit. Not that fast. Oh, that was pretty fast. <laughs> that was pretty fast. No sneaky fast. Awesome. We got a bunch of both in and we got a snake. Perfect Colin J video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think that is a perfect stopping point for today's video. We caught a lot of fish. Yes. We got rained on. We but missed now, a lot of fish. We missed a ton of fish, guys. We are going to come back next time with some big J hooks so we can just, just drop the hammer on them. Yeah. You know, normally the circle hooks work well, but for whatever reason, just like our gear was like just not stiff enough to really drive those hooks home. And it's kind of weird sitting the hook on a circle hook when the fish are like right in front of you. It's kind of yeah. like you need some distance between you and the fish to get some like some slack in it. But Anyways, the sun's out now, it's bright and sunny, but there's another big storm up that way. It's gonna come and smash us up. So we gotta get out of here. So we hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. If so, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments down below, let us know what kind of fish you'd like to see us catch next, and we will see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.